Kit Carson, Colorado, and uh, we are having Brianna Rose, who's going to be making her Red's Room debut. Um, she is excited to join us, and so uh, before we get started, Brianna, welcome to Red's Room, the family of um, Red's Room and all the people on here that have been uh, doing, as we embark on show 325, so uh, welcome. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, music is something I've always had a passion for, and um, it's been with me my entire life. So one of the reasons that, um, one of the biggest reasons that I do music is because I grew up traveling and playing music full time with my family in a country gospel group called Desert Rain, and our ministry was that's what we did was we would tell our testimony through songs and we did that full time for 16 years. Um, I lived in a, in a bus. Uh, we sold the house when I was seven <laughs> and just traveled and, and called ourselves mission missions to America. And we nice. go to small churches and it was um, one of the best adventures ever. And I have written s several songs but a lot of it is just due to my parents and their obedience and in following God. Nice. Hey, says, Diana, I, was asked, uh, I was asked if we can turn it up a little bit more. Okay. How's that? Uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay. So, so I, so I see you were, it also says that you were a farmer for a while there too, being in Colorado, I guess. That's... Um, so, <laughs> Let's see. Six years ago, we are we started a first generation family farm, and um, it's been probably the most difficult thing we've ever done. <laughs> um, we are 100 percent dependent on rain, dry land farm, and um, we take care of about 14,000 acres. And wow. um, it's it's been the ultimate test of faith, and there has been a lot of the songs that Amy sang, I was like, oh man, that just, that is so like relatable to some of those experiences where we actually sold houses, sold businesses, left jobs, and my husband and his three brothers, we all moved to fifth wheel campers on a 10 acre piece of land in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> wow. And we tried to drill for water and we had none. The water table was dry. So we had to truck in our water once a week and fill up a tank. And boy, I lived in that fifth wheel, 29 foot fifth wheel with all three of my kids, my dog and my husband for four years. And I about lost my mind several times. <laughs> I would imagine. <laughs> I tell people it's like an, a never ending road trip. Just never stops. <laughs> oh, it uh, makes you feel grateful for the things you have, right? <laughs> in that oh my gosh. That. I, I never thought that I would just love having a door so much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. All right, so um, let's get you started on your debut on Red's Room. And uh, what's your first song you have for us tonight? The first song that I have for you guys tonight is one that um, I wrote while I was in the fifth wheel. And I've actually never done this one on piano before. So um, it'll be a first time for everything. But, you know, the one thing the fifth wheel season really taught me is that you cannot have any attachment to material things, that God truly is all that you need. And he will, he will strip you of everything that you idolize because he's a jealous God and he wants you to be completely infatuated over head over heels in love with him. And um, so my biggest dream because of the way I grew up was having a house. And I was so unbelievably angry with God that, that that I would end up in a fifth wheel that didn't move. Um, because if you're, you know, if you're on in ministry and music and it's moving all the time, there's purpose in it, right? But to have something with wheels underneath it that never moves is just pointless. And it was such a humbling moment for me. Um, so I wrote this song, Castles in the Sand. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And let me... Make sure my levels are good here.
the wave, I feel the darkness crashing over me. It knocks me down, I'm losing vision and identity. Do you know who I am? I don't know who I am. And now I'm found somewhere with the facts and truth. Why do I suddenly feel so far away from you? Without a vision, people perish. Lord, I know that's true. But I've been blind for a while now. Don't know what to do. Oh, I don't know what to do. It's hard to let hope rise when reason holds it hostage. All the doubt, the fear, the fight between faith and logic. I lay it aside. I know in your word I'll find. There is goodness and mercy, forgiveness that never condemns. All of a sudden, I'm caught in the winds of your blessing, your love that has never an end. And I know your heart is for me. Jesus, please have your way. I choose to put faith in your promise. I will trust and obey, I will trust and obey, I will trust and obey. So I stand here completely surrendered, cause you know the higher way in your goodness. You won't let me ruin this life you've designed for me. I will seek first your kingdom. done building castles in the sand. I'm done building castles in the sand. Thank you for your mercy, your goodness, your love. Thank you for everything you have and haven't yet done. You're working it all together. You're working it all together. Thank you for the bad times. Because of them, I know what's good for understanding me when I am misunderstood. You're working it all together. You're working it all together.
Wow, what a powerful song. And if that was your first time doing it on the keys, I would love to hear it again when you master it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Becca Lynn says, you're amazing. Kara is sending uh, happy faces with stars on it. Joshua apparently made uh, Facebook heartless because it says he can't send any more. Uh, Lori <laughs> says that uh, the lyrics uh, gave her chills. Wow. Daniel Curtis Music saying that this uh, he loves this song. The lyrics are amazing. Great song of praise. Jennifer saying so beautiful. A lot of hearts from uh, Rebecca Kara saying I could love this more so good. Um, many people are saying that they've built uh, their share of uh, castles in the sand as well. Uh, <laughs> Olga says haven't we all. Uh, just a lot of good stuff out there. So um, when you're writing, um, you know, what inspiration, obviously, with your trials in the fifth uh, wheel <laughs> uh, living. Uh, but uh, what other, you know, like I asked uh, before, uh, are you writing the words first and then the melody or are you doing melody and then words? It comes all together for me personally. It's like the right songs, the ones that I get that I'm that I'm like really really fond of are the ones that God wrote while I was just holding the pen. Um, he kind of just downloads these songs like my song, my single ceasefire came out um, a couple of weeks ago. And that was one of those that in five minutes, he gave me everything, lyrics, music, all of it. And um, it just kind of evolves. So I will get the melody line and the lyrics together. But then um, I add a lot to it. And um, I call myself like, the the garage band musician that whole track was pretty much produced on the app garage band on my ipad um nice nice i call yeah, I garage say... band the finger skateboard of the music world <laughs> there you go <laughs> yeah i would say i plagiarize god's word when i'm doing my music too so <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so that's kind of how it comes for me and and my dad taught me how to write when i was seven years old so I've been writing for for a bit. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, so what's uh, song number two that you have for us? Song number two is a song that I wrote called Yours Now. And um, I know that I'm not the only one who suffers with um, self-hatred and some of those things. I have dealt with a lot of that um, my entire life. And it's a, it's a very tempting thing, but you know, I think every single one of us, we are our own worst critics. And it's super hard to, to accept ourselves the way God sees us. Um, but once we once we have that understanding, it's, it's so liberating, it's so full of just perfect love. And um, so this song is called yours now. And I need to set my setting here. All right. Brianna Rose on Red Room. what I see in the mirror sometimes my mind lies to me and it hurts me so deep I start to believe that I'm worthless sometimes it's hard to break through this stronghold and separate my feelings from the word that I know is true who I am should be found in you together in my mother's womb there's nothing that can separate me from you and though i have failed you so many times you will never change your mind your love is alive it's breathing wherever i go it will chase me down so it doesn't matter who i Lost 
lost in surrender and found in your love that will hold me forever it came like a flood it saved me from myself not by strength or by might but through your spirit i'm seen in your eyes only as your beloved remove all the pride all the lies that say i nothing that can separate me from you though I have failed you so many times you will never change your mind your love is alive it's breathing wherever I go it will chase me down it doesn't matter who I was before because I says lots of scripture in the lyrics and it speaks powerfully to her and then uh, Josh Julia says amen and beautiful really nice lyrics um, we had uh, Colin Culpepper saying this is fire with the praise hands going it's uh, such powerful words and uh, again you know that's when we we're talking with Amy the same thing our experiences um, you know that's as a writer because I'm a writer that those are the things that when we share people it's more believable and trying to make something up because then you're able to minister to others through our hurts and pains. And um, I, I was thinking about, you know, where Jesus leaves the 99 out of Matthew 18 to go, you know, find the one. And we've all been there where, you know, he, he's chasing after us. And though we're all God's children, he meets us each individually where we need to be met on a daily basis. And so yes, he does powerful, powerful words, powerful song. Um, so what else are you working uh, on currently? I have a lot. Um, I have a song that I'm working on called Lifeboat that will be released in April. Um, and I actually just like bruised my collarbone from holding the violin for so long, um, <laughs> trying to put it on the track. And I'm not the best violin player. I just got it back in June from my dad. And um, I haven't had it in like 16 years. So it's been a while and I'm like, I'm still like so, so novice, but this song just had to have some violin on it. So it took me literally like five hours to just get two little parts. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's oh. what I'm working on right now. And then I'm also working on a, an instrumental album. Um, and it will also have the with words version. So just, lots lots of music coming up and I'm, I'm kind of just you know going for it i've so i had i took a long time just making sure that like my heart was in the right place i didn't want to pursue this if i wasn't 100 percent doing this for god and nobody else and um i have i have tendencies like everybody else when you're in this kind of a, a of an industry to glorify ego and look what i can do and i didn't want any ounce of that in me um, that, that, that's one of the beautiful things about Paul. It's like, who, who am I to boast of? He goes, I could boast of somebody, but I'm not going to. And that's what I think a lot of us, you know, like you said, tend and we struggle with and tend to forget that if it's not for the glory of God, then, you know, we're just up there performing and that's not what it's about. So exactly. All right. So song number three, what do you have for us? Song number three is another one that was born from, um, difficulty and you know some nothing nothing really prepares us for the tragedies in our life um the forced changes the things that you never saw coming and while i was in the fifth wheel i i had such solid faith and so much hope and so much belief that that i would have a house soon and um it just didn't happen and didn't happen and didn't happen and 
um, this is just one example. I have so many like that in my life. Um, but uh, it's easy to forget when you have hope that's been discouraged and disappointed. The Bible says in Proverbs that hope delayed makes the heart sick. Mm. Um, I was in a heart sick moment. And I was of the mind of if this is what God does with a dream, because it was painful for me. My husband's dream was to farm and um, to have a business. And so I'm like, if, if, if this is if this is so painful, um, how how can I trust God with my dream? Because I don't want it to hurt anybody. You know, I I just you, you become afraid of the sacrifice and it was the stripping away. It was it was definitely needed to happen for sure. But, you know, when when our hearts become sick, it's very easy for the enemy to twist our thinking and believe the lie that God isn't good. And especially when bad things happen, that's that's what people ask. Number one, number one question on everybody's mind is why why would a good God allow this to happen? And the the Bible says he gives and he takes away. He is good ultimately. And the more that we can focus on his goodness, even in the even in the worst situations, then we are filled with with strength, his strength in those moments. So this one is called You Are Good. It's such a simple truth, but so hard to believe it when circumstances keep me broken. And the light is hard to see You know that I believe in you But my trust sometimes is failing My eyes lie to my mind And my heart forgets to be It's hard to sleep when peace is running from my soul Sometimes to just keep holding on I've got to learn to let go and believe you're good When my whole world is crashing down When my broken heart is full of doubt And everything I thought I knew Is proving that it isn't true You're still good and it's impossible for you to change Yesterday, today, forever, you're the same And faithful to complete the things That in your love you promised me, Lord, I believe Please help my unbelieving eyes to see That in all things you're good Your words can never fail So I'll hold on though I'm in pieces I don't think I have the strength it takes To hold me But I'm grateful Your power's made perfect in my weakness You don't need my faith to be so faithful to times than I can count and still you've never let me go in spite of all my doubts you are good when my whole world is crashing down when my broken heart is full of doubt and everything I thought I knew is proven that it isn't true you're still it's impossible for you to change Yesterday, today, forever You're the same And faithful to complete the things That in your love you promised me Lord, I believe Please help my unbelieving eyes To see that in all things 
Brianna Rose on Red Room, show 325. Um, ben Stout says, absolutely amazing. Wow. Kara's saying, wow. She's got all the feels right now. Your voice, what a beautiful gift you are. Lori is, says, what a sweet offering to God that the song is. And she's in tears. Yes, Lord, you are faithful. Uh, Olga saying you are lighting this on fire with the Spirit of God right now. So um, just a lot of love. And, you know, I was thinking when you were talking, um, you know, we think about Joseph who went through so much and all the things that he experienced. And, you know, we obviously don't get every day that happened. So, you know, I'm sure he kind of was feeling like that at some points, you know, but, you know, at the end he realized that and, and we, when we get to where God wants us, we realize that whatever was meant for evil, God meant it for good. And so yeah, it's yeah, hard yes. when we're going through the valley, you know, as we go through the valley of the shadow of death, it is very difficult, you know. But I always, always share uh, Hebrews 11, I believe it's like 32 through the end of the chapter, where it says that all these people experienced all these troubles and um, things that, uh, you know, they didn't get all the things that they thought they were promised to them here on earth. But God's promise, it says at the end there, is for eternity. And we have to keep our eyes upon Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith uh, through oh, the storm. I so, I love it. So uh, where can people go out and, uh, you know, everybody on Facebook is uh, chomping at the bit to find out where they can find your music and uh, follow you. I, um... I'm on Facebook. I do post a lot on Facebook and um, my personal page is, is where I share everything. <laughs> um, but then I'm also on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube. And for music, I'm on YouTube, Spotify, uh, iTunes, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, pretty much anywhere music can be streamed. Um, What's the website or the domain or whatever the uh, links? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't I don't have a I don't have the link set up yet, but um if we'll have Red follow... put them in the chat. <laughs> oh yeah, I can do that. I can put the links in the chat once once we're we're done here. I can make sure I could get those go those links to everybody. I only have one well, I have three releases, but one where it's actually like it sounds good. So I'm sure they all sound good. So is it Fifth Wheel Ministries? Is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> it's just Brianna Rose. Um, that's Brianna Rose music is, is what I go by. So yeah, you, you can also get her, uh, your music on Bandcamp, right? You said that was the, yes, uh, yeah, you so. can get it on Bandcamp. That's brand Thanks, new. Ben. So I just started there. So awesome. Awesome. All right. So you have one more song for us. I do. I have one more song. This one, um, this is my worship song for sure. And let's see if I can do this here so my ipad is just about to die guys sorry <laughs> um 
I have enough time to do this and then I'll keep watching on my phone. But um, this song is called Thought of You. And if we take the time in our prayer and meditation to really focus on God, on the I am, how unbelievably liberating that is and perfect love casts out all fear and God says in his word that he is love and so this song was written with that thought in mind that at the very thought of him all of the fear all of the questions all of the things they just melt away whenever you quiet your mind and focus a hundred percent on the love of God for you and if you're listening and you don't feel the love of God I want to invite you with this song to take a moment and force yourself to believe it because it's true whether you believe it or not and it's so unbelievably beyond what you could ever imagine it that if he poured out all of his love for you on you right now on your physical being you would cease to exist <laughs> as a human being because your body could not handle the amount of love that he has for you and I just want to I want to minister and encourage you against any spirit of worthlessness any spirit of um, not enough because you are and what he did for you should show you the value of your soul to him and this song is a little bit about that and um just let's go into worship guys there is only one name above every other there is only one love in whom grace is found there is only one friend closer than a brother and we gather together to worship him We worship you now. Jesus, every drop of your blood poured out as the payment for our sins. We stand forgiven.
Brianna Rose on Red's Room Show 325. Um, Kara says that she is just speechless. And Lori says beautiful worship. And Joshua says that he is so glad that he tuned in tonight. Wow. And Ben is saying, Brianna Rose music, you're so precious. Um, just beautiful words and just the way that, um, you know, you're singing them because, you know, that's one of those things where we can see the emotion in the heart that, you know, God is speaking through you. And that is such a blessing. And, um, and, you know, it's, this is what I love about Red's Room is, you know, bringing up the indie artists that, you know, we, we don't have to be mainstream, but you know what, we're mainstreaming God's Amen. world yeah. and what we're doing. We're called to go out and make disciples and we do it through the talents God's given us. And so what a blessing. And uh, looking at your bio, I can understand why you have the, uh, was it platinum songwriter? <laughs> yeah <laughs> beautiful how you you write and sing and uh, we're so blessed that uh, you you joined us tonight i'm so grateful this has truly been such a pleasure and an honor for me thank you so much for having me so let's uh pray for you before you go and uh, lord we just thank you for brianna rose and just uh, lord the the things that uh, lord we that she's shared with us that uh, she went through father but you know like we shared with joseph that you know it it, it, when we're going through those trials and tribulations, Lord, we don't understand, but we know that you have a purpose for each and every one of us, Lord. And, uh, you know, you've shown that tonight through her music, through her testimony and sharing, you know, just how the songs came about and just how great of a God you are, that, uh, Lord, your, your blood shed for everyone out there. And I love what she said, that we don't have to believe it, but it's still true. Your word is true. And uh, we thank you for that, Lord. We ask that you just bless her ministry, continue to bless her family, uh, and uh, Lord, all the things that are going on in her life. And uh, we are just so blessed uh, that we were able to uh, just uh, listen to uh, the gospel through her song. And uh, we thank you in Jesus' precious name. Brianna, thank you so much for yeah, joining thank us. You for having me. And, uh, um, thank you. So.